can. And here's America's number one born shopper, Ms. Joan Rivers. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. hello. And hello and welcome to Tammy Shop, the show where your dollars make sense. And there's always fun here and tips and gossip and celebrity excitement. Today we have got the inside track on soap opera romance with guiding light sexy hunk Frank Decopolis. And we're going to have practical advice on how to buy and serve wine that even teetotalers won't want to miss. And what do we do every day? We get some great deals and some great products. And here's Deborah to tell us what are they today. Joan, I'd be glad to. Oh, it's so good. A complete three-book set of Mr. Food's best ever recipes for cooking, cooking terrific chicken, preparing perfect pasta, and making delectable desserts every time. Also, a perfect way to pamper yourself or a very close friend while providing rejuvenating nourishment and natural protection for your skin. A three-piece Perlier honey bath and shower kit. And we've got Love for Sale. It's Love on the Air, a collection of 10 great love songs from some of America's favorite daytime soaps. Available on either CD or cassette, it comes with a special piano vocal guitar songbook that includes behind-the-scenes stories and photos of the stars and, of course, lots, lots more. So, let's go shopping. I'm delighted to go shopping, and my first guest today, did you know they have musical directors on soap operas? Well, they do. He was the musical director of the soap opera The Guiding Light for eight years. He's composed songs for As the World Turns and Another World. He has won two Emmys for Outstanding Original Songs and has now put all of his ten favorite songs from these soaps inside these musical songbooks called Love on the Air. Please welcome A.J. Gundell. How nice to have you on. Okay. Nice to be here. I, I don't mean it to sound stupid, but I swear to you, I'm in the business now so long. They have people that just write songs for soap operas. I never heard of that. Sure. I thought you just get a theme song and that's that. No, all kinds of music, from songs to background music, uh, whatever. There's all kinds of music on, on these shows, and someone's writing it. And do you get, like, a contract and you stay, they call you up for everything? Mm, depends, you know. Some of it's contracts, some of it is freelance. Some, some shows have their own people writing exclusively for them. It just depends on the show. How did you get, you obviously were a music student and you became a composer, mm -hmm. right? How did you get into soap operas? I had, uh, I'm a performer, singer, songwriter, and I had a demo tape that was, that found its way to a show back in the early 80s called uh, Search for Tomorrow. I know Search for Tomorrow, Tomorrow, sure. Could you hum a little bit of it? Of Search for Tomorrow? Yeah. No. All right. I, I, I Search, didn't, do you write the lyrics I didn't write. I didn't write the theme song for it. I wrote a, a, a song that was on the show. Okay. And uh, that got me involved with writing for that show, other shows as well. I got the music director's job on Guiding Light about 1985 and was music director there for eight years. Continued to compose and write for Guiding Light and other shows during that time. How do they know when they want a song? Well, do the uh, writers call you up and say it's time here to have writers, someone sing? Sometimes the writers call me. Sometimes uh, uh, I, I see an opportunity myself to write something. Yeah. And the, the so they send you the script? Uh, yeah, sometimes they send a script. Sometimes, you know, um, I, if, if I'm not connected with the show, I'll see, I'll see the show and I'm, I'm going to get an idea. Right. Um, it it, it depends on the situation. But it, uh, when I was music director of Guiding Light, I would see a script myself. I'd get an idea. I'd write something. I'd pitch it to producer right. and, uh, you know, hopefully we get on now, there. Now, who did you bring with you today, if I don't know? Well, I brought a friend of mine from Guiding Light um, who was recently uh, voted uh, one of the top uh, hunks of America. Nominated, I should say. Yeah, oh, top the audience three. suddenly got very interested. Yeah. In, uh, That's a, yeah. in Soap Opera Digest. Right, Frank. And um, he's a good friend of mine from Guiding Light, right. Frank Dicopolis. And should we bring him out? We'll Let's talk to him a little bit. Frank, where are you? Here we go. Here, Frank Dicopolis of Guiding Light. Let me move over to the studio. Hello, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Good, all right, you? good to see you. Now, good last time you. I saw you, you weren't picked hunk. Oh, <laughs> oh you had already been picked hunk. Well, um, well, this year I'm fortunate because uh, um, there's we're down to three of us now. Yeah, and, uh, who are the three? Uh, Antonio Sabato, Drake Hogeston, and myself right. are uh, hottest daytime uh, male, I guess. Yeah, yeah. hottest so, daytime. So, yeah. Do you campaign? Um, no, not really. You, uh, you just hope that uh, throughout that course of the year that you did a good job and fans were watching and that your storyline uh, was, was hot and yeah. people were, you know, were watching. Do you ever send letters yourself under different names? <laughs> under well, <laughs> yourself. I uh, would. Well, you know, you call up your friends, yeah, you call up Boston, your family. Yeah, you're in Boston, stupid not to drop a p thing in the post box, you know. Sure, no, Say, absolutely. he's great, so you, you don't, Schwartz, Boston, you don't, you don't you make know? up anybody, but what you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't make up anything. What you do is you just, you know, call upon the 
the fans who've been watching and family members and, and that's it. Now you in the book, there's a song that you explain what's going on here in the book. Well, there's there yeah. are uh, ten songs in this book. Ten um, songs, and they come one with a CD. One, either a, in CD or with cassette. Right. And which they, is very unusual because not any there's no other songbook, soap opera songbook that has that kind of a beautiful package. Right. In addition to it, has the, the sheet music in it with the easy piano vocal arrangements that then anyone who wants to play along to those things so can, can, can play easily along play. You can listen along. to the music and play along with it. In addition to which, it also has some background stories and and and, and little behind the scenes things that I've written about uh, each song and the characters involved with the characters' um, pictures and stuff like that. Now, where are you in the book? Find me. There Here you we are. are. There you are. Yeah. Now, what was the song? Your song is called what? Threshold of My Heart. Threshold of I My know, Heart. I know. Oh, yeah. And you what, know what's really great about what they yeah. do and what AJ Threshold of My Heart. <laughs> it, it, it creates a nice ambiance, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, great dialogue usually doesn't need music in the background right. and you're so focused on the dialogue and you're paying attention and all that but what it does is it just makes it into a movie it's exactly what it does and and aj's just done a wonderful job and and we don't hear the music actors on the uh, on the set the, the music's not being fed to the floor so this is usually done afterwards now this is special what happened that you what's going on what's the background for the song we finally got back together okay. um a character alan michael on her show had stolen her from me um with deception and we were supposed to be the couple i mean right. she came over from greece and we were going to be put together by the old heritage thing you know the greek right. culture and well he, he tricked her and stole her from me and we now finally after all these years have gotten back together okay so. and here's the song and, and then also the about the book. baby right this is, you have uh, the baby the baby this we is right after baby. well th this is actually yeah. i think a, a month or so after you got back home i think okay. got a, this is the uh love making clip i believe okay but the, the baby you. is yours mm -hmm. and the this, baby is yours the baby is yours thank and, god and they are yeah. <laughs> they were worried we, we because so. it was oriental <laughs> but she convinced you all right go ahead threshold of my heart we're making the love of a lifetime Dreaming of a brand new start Let me carry you across the threshold The threshold of my heart Cause I've built a home for you there A shelter from the storm Always share your garden of rose. Our children will know that we're making the love of a lifetime, dreaming of a brand new star, and I'll carry you across the threshold. The threshold of my heart And I'll carry you across The threshold of my heart Very yeah, good. Wow, right. Just great. It really gets, the, you know, your uh -huh. goosebumps. I mean, it really, it's, it's just, he just does a great job. And now, Deborah, will you tell the viewers out there if they would like the songbooks with the cassette or the CD, how they can get them? Oh, it would be my pleasure. Joan, if you want the Love on the Air cassette, it's item number G, as in gorgeous Greek god over there, 105, and the price is $15.95 for the Love on the Air CD. Still, item number G105, the price is $17.95, and here's how easy it is to order. Hi, Joan. It's so easy to shop with you. All you need is your credit card, the item number, and call the number on the screen. See? <laughs> and when we come back, Mr. Food will show Mrs. Diet how you can spice up your life. <laughs> I've ever had in my life. It has to be due to Hooked on Phonics. The best investment you could make would be to buy this program. There is no better way to learn, and it's the best investment you will ever make. We are Hooked on Phonics! Call 1-800-ABCDEFG.
Have you smelled Clorox bleach lately? It smells like a cool, clean ocean breeze. Fresh, fresh, so fresh. It smells like the sunshine through the trees. Fresh, fresh, so fresh. Fresh sands Clorox bleach. Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. You know, I've been suffering with back pain for years. Then I discovered Aspa Cream. I just rub in Aspa Cream for hours of relief. Right where I hurt, it relieves the pain fast and it's odor free. And Aspa Cream is aspirin free. If you suffer from sinus pain and pressure, take Dristan Sinus. It contains ibuprofen with 40 million prescriptions, but combined in non-prescription strength with the decongestant doctors recommend most. Both are available in Dristan Sinus. It'll relieve pressure and ease sinus pain, all without drowsiness. Dristan Sinus, with two doctor-recommended medicines. And there is a full line of Dristan products that's right for you. Dristan. Our everyday prices make Tile Outlet a great place to save on ceramic floor and wall tile. But in January, we'll be reducing selected items from 20 to 50 percent. Our January sale is the perfect time to take advantage of Tile Outlet's huge inventory and product availability. Remember, at Tile Outlet, the products you see on display are warehoused right here and in stock. Tile Outlet, 2444 West Fullerton in Chicago, just three blocks west of the Kennedy Expressway. Are you tired of having the same old things for dinner day after day, week after week, year after year, hamburger helper, hamburger helper, helper for hamburger? Well, my next guest is here to spice up your meals with some quick, quick, listen to that word, easy and, listen to this word, inexpensive recipes. They're from his new set of three cookbooks for chicken, pasta, and dessert. He's here in our kitchen today with some tasty examples from the books. Will you please welcome Mr. Food, a man who's at home on the range more than Roy Rogers. <laughs> Please welcome Art Ginsburg. Hi. Nice to have Hi, you. Hi, How are you? Super. First of all, is there a Mrs. Food? Sure, there's a Mrs. Food. Mrs. Food. And how did? And does she cook, or do you do all the cooking? We, huh? It all depends who gets into the kitchen first. We both share, and help, I help clean up. Yes, okay. that was going to be the next question. Yes, do you help yes. clean? How Absolutely. did you start cooking? I mean, was this, was this your profession, or was this your hobby that became a profession? It was both. I just watched my mom. We, be, uh, I was in the, the meat business. My father was in the meat business. I was born and brought up in food and produce, and we just watched and care in the days when you used to have those real tastes that we remember yeah. that we don't get much anymore. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> tell me what you've shown us. That delicious and fast. To start with chicken. All right, we're going to start this with chicken. This is the chicken, and not you know, that stupid. A, a lot of this <laughs> is the chicken. All right. You, you, you already have the identity. Okay. Right. Now, Here. what have you done? Go, Thank go. You. Okay. All right, you have to realize that people forgot that roast chicken is the easiest thing to make. The easiest of all. First of all, it's most inexpensive because it's a whole chicken. No, you didn't have to pay them to cut it up. And you walk in, you get it on sale, and all you do is take a few spices, whatever ones you want. This one is what I call Friday night roasted chicken, and it's got seasoned salt, and it's got a little paprika, and a little garlic powder, and onion powder, salt and pepper. That's it. Mix it up in a bowl with a little bit of oil, rub it over in the oven. Hour and a half, you've got roast chicken. And when you put it on the table, oh, you made roast chicken. Yeah. They think that it's such a wonderful, wonderful, they don't know that it's one of the easiest things you can make. Make. Right. But it looks so festive. It's like it's like Turkey Day because it's something whole and beautiful. So and if you work, you come home half an hour to prepare. What like the preparation? Not half hour. Ten minutes, you've got everything done. If the chicken's plucked. Uh, well, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. If you eat an unplucked chicken, oh boy. Well, the, the, the feathers are good for like two, three, right. So a fast recipe and what are the basic spices a woman should have in her kitchen? Tell me that. Salt, pepper, little paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and after that, you can go from there whatever way you want. As long as you have those, you have the basics. Okay, so you can make like an hour and a half while they're watching football. You can throw Absolutely. it in the Absolutely, if you want something fast. If you wanted it even quicker, buy the cut-up chicken, and it'll be done in about 55 minutes in the oven. Or buy the smaller chicken. The smaller chicken you buy, the quicker it's going to be cooked. Right. It does, there's no ceremony. There's no rules. And that's what these books do. There's no rules. You come home at the end of the day, you want something quick, and you want something easy. And delicious. Off the sh shell, and you want it to taste right. right. And you don't have to worry about that you don't have fiddlehead ferns, and you don't have saffron in there. Right. Or you don't have to buy, uh, buy things that uh, you need to match an amount equal to the national debt. Yeah. Uh, everything's on one page. I don't have some nice utensils. 
don't need it. You know it. what I'm telling you? I don't have this fancy Cuisinart. Absolutely, and you don't need a whisk. You know, yeah. my mother used to beat eggs with a fork, and yeah. you can do the same thing today. Okay. You, you don't need all that fancy stuff. There isn't anything here, and we've got to get the sin out of people thinking that you can't use convenience foods. If Grandma would have had a 21 cubic foot upright, she would have used it. There's no rules here. Play with it. Do with it. Start with a convenience food. It's out there to help us. Here. For example, yeah, for, give me for, an example for, for, over for, here. All right, for an example. Uh, let's go pasta. with the pasta. Okay, we're going to do pasta right. Here is convenience food. We start with leftover spaghetti or a half pound of spaghetti that you cook. But if it's leftover, perfect. You just mix it with a couple of eggs, a little olive oil, and some Parmesan cheese. And that's your crust. Now all you do is take a, a, a cup of regat, put that on the crust. You put a little bought sauce. Yes, bought sauce, which is as good as some of the mothers used to cook years ago, or in any brands. And you just put a cup of that. Then you put some... Uh, cheese, some uh, mozzarella, put it in the oven, 35 minutes, and look what you have. Spaghetti pie that looks wonderful, that's crisp yeah. on the bottom, and moist and tender and juicy inside. So if you went out the night before and got a doggy bag, you've got, you've got your recipe. spaghetti home in a doggy bag, you're halfway there anyhow. You've got it. Stop yeah. in the supermarket in five minutes, you've got all the items that you need, or you may have them in the refrigerator. You're done. You're going. Right. You're finished. And again, 35 minutes. 35 and, minutes And they the really oven. think you work like a dog. Absolutely. Oh, and when yeah. you put it out like... Well, this is a, isn't that important? Oh, my God, I was John, cooking all day. This it was is awesome. important, John. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. And when you tell them that it was like this, they appreciate it more. This is homemade from scratch. Yeah, that's from scratch. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. All right. It, these are idiots. The reason you're on today mm -hmm. is because they know how I cook, and they said these are idiot-proof recipes. Joan, these are so easy that, indeed, even you can make them. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Absolutely. Now, over here, <clears throat> pasta, 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 Pasta right? salad. If it's left, absolutely mix it in. This is a pasta, and mixing your leftover chicken in with it, some extra uh, some extra vegetables, some, some peppers, whatever's eaten on the bottom of your, of your vegetable bin. Throw it in uh, with your seasonings. You're all finished. And don't forget chicken wings for the Super Bowl now, coming up. Now, what do you mean? Now, now this looks, <clears throat> I, again, it looks hard. How do you make a chicken wing? How do you make it? You mix How do you make mix a chicken cluck? <laughs> <laughs> you say, squeeze you your time, <laughs> squeeze your time. <laughs> what you do is just mix five ingredients in a bowl, pour it over the, the, what are the chicken five wings. Ingredients? What are the five ingredients? It's in the book. Okay. 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 But I know it's apricot preserves, right. it's soy sauce, it's a little bit of sugar, brown sugar, and uh, salt, pepper. Into the oven it goes, spread them out, and they will glaze, and you turn them once or twice, and that's what you get chicken wings in 55 minutes. Okay. And you're a big hero. Yeah, look You're at right. All right, show me now desserts, because everybody, uh, even if you give them a piece of pizza, am I right? Mm. They love homemade desserts are very if big. If you fi finish off with dessert, you got it. And this uh, is not, these are from packaged stuff I can buy? This is death by chocolate. Death by chocolate. And this is still the number yeah. one recipe request ever. Uh, and we're going to get in the difficult. recipe later. Very, very difficult. Tell me All what it is. All it is is you buy a brownie mix. Convenience food. Right. Brownie mix. You make a batch of brownies. Or what you and I would do, buy some brownies. Yeah. Cr <laughs> right. Crush them up on the bottom of, of a bowl. Then you make what, a package of instant chocolate mousse. And you put a layer of instant chocolate mousse. Now, what is the big, big rage taste in the country today in your ice cream and everything? Heath bar. Now, Heath you buy yeah. and you buy Heath bars and you crush them and you By put a layer of that. How do you, no, no. Uh, how do you crush, here we go, how do you crush a heat spot? You must use a very intricate kitchen utensil. That's called a hammer. <laughs> it's in, and you bust it up, absolutely, and you just sprinkle on a layer of those. Oh. And then a layer of whipped topping, <laughs> then a layer, another layer of the brownies, the chocolate mousse, the whipped topping, and, and the Heath bar, and this is what you get. And when you put that on the table, regardless, that goes first. And you know what's on the bottom of this? Your cardiologist's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. The winner gets that. Let me see. Would you? Would you? Yeah. 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 It's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Let me tell you. Deborah, will you tell everybody how to get the three cookbooks, if you would, for the chicken, the pasta, and the dessert, Mr. Foods, and let's take this over to the audience. And would Thank you me. like some Death by Chocolate? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Let's yes. go over and we'll feed us some Death by Chocolate, okay? You betcha. Starting this Deborah. item would definitely be my pleasure to tell you about, because I just love this food. Now, if you'd like to order the three-volume set of Mr. Foods cookbooks, it's item number G, as in great, 106, and our Can We Shop price is only 23 76. 
So, Joe, back to you. Ooh. Okay, Mr. Cook, Mr. Food. May I call you Mr. F? You may, you okay, may. Okay, I think I know you well enough. I've been referred to that. Mr. Mr. F, that we just start feeding the... Uh, Absolutely, just plop who, it on their plates. Who is not on a diet? Just plop it on their plates. <laughs> okay. And I guarantee you that even those on the diet will have it. Oh. You, you want to do it? Sure, right, sure. Okay. here we go. Yeah, it's nice to see. It's Ready? nice to see a man help, don't you think? Absolutely. Right, everybody start eating. You, you all get some it. Chocolate. You need some okay. chocolate. And the here we go. This means 150 extra push-ups. Okay, which is very good. By the way, for you at home, if you want to get a copy of the Death by Chocolate recipe, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Can We Shop, starring Joan Rivers, P.O. Box 20701, Columbus Circle Station, New York, New York, 10023. And please write Death by Chocolate recipe on the envelope, okay? So that's what you're going to get. And when we come back, we're going to find out everything you've always wanted to know about inexpensive wines. That's very important, inexpensive wines. So stay with us, and you guys just eat your heart out, okay? If you love action, if you crave adventure, if you feel a need for speed, you mind if I play through? Then buckle up. Talking. You look more beautiful than ever. Fun loving, hard driving bandit is back. Did I mention beautiful women? I want these guys behind bars. It's a world premiere, action pack exclusive. Bandit. Catch the next action pack movie February 3rd at 7. In most American cities, you can find some sort of gang activity going on each day after school. The Salvation Army program is for you, giving kids a fighting chance. Ever wonder why all the plants and trees in movies and magazines look so lovely? Many are silk, just like the ones you see here. Now, for the first time, the fabulous Plant 94 Studio is offering their silk stars to the public. Right now, this lush six-foot silk ficus tree is just $39.95. This fabulous Boston fern and hanging basket is only $29.95. Potted $19.95. Call 1-800-PLANT-94 and bring a little movie magic to your home or office. Call 1-800-PLANT-94 now. There's a voice in your head that's getting way too much of your attention. Oh, I'm so fat. It's stealing your energy, your hopes, your life. I am never eating again. Imagine in its place a voice that speaks your dreams and a body that lives them. The new Jenny Craig. Call 1-800-92-JENNY. Each year, thousands of people are hurt at work. And then to add insult to injury, they're not even given the compensation they deserve. I'm Chuck Balkin of the law firm of Balkin & Doran, reminding you that under workers' compensation, you're entitled to a lot more than weekly benefits and medical bills. It's true. What you're entitled to could be thousands of dollars more. And we won't charge you a cent unless we win. If you've been injured, call Balkin & Doran at 1-800-INJURED now. Today for our At Your Service segment, which gives you tips on everything to make your lifestyle better, we're going to find out the ABCs of buying, storing, and serving affordable wines. Will you please welcome wine expert Harriet Lembeck, now known as Ms. Wine. Nice to Hi, see you. Hi, Joe. Nice to see you. you. Mr. Food, Ms. Ms. Wine. wine. Perfect combination. Okay, first of all. Do certain foods have to have certain wines, or is that all over with now? It's Chicken all has over with. white. Just the way Art said, there are no rules with food. There's also no rules with wine. So if See, anyone says to you, "This is meat," you have to have red you wine. You drink can say, what you like. You're a fool. No, oh, you don't have to say that. But well, I would. Okay. <laughs> you would, sure. That's okay. What you about that. pasta? That confused me. What wine goes with pasta? I think you have to look at the sauce and also the temperature. For example, the pasta pie he made was warm, yeah. and that would be good with a red wine. Okay. And the pasta salad he showed was chilled, and that would be good with a white wine. So okay. it's temperature. It's sauce. It has uh, very little to do with the basic ingredient. What's a good average wine. I walk into a wine store and there's a bottle of red for three dollars and there's a bottle of red for 135 dollars. That's right. Tell me why the three dollar wine isn't good because if you, if you put it in the 135 dollar bottle I have a feeling a lot of my friends will go delicious. <laughs> okay. You could be right. You could be right. There's too much mystery surrounding yeah. wine. Too much too much phony things yeah. and uh, the, probably the three dollar wine is fine. 
but as you taste a little more, you get to like things that uh, have expensive uh, components. What do you look for when you taste? We have some cups here. Show me what we should look for. Well, this is my little... That's your little spit, spit cup. cup. Okay. Because professional tasters never swallow, so they have to oh. spit. Oh! Professional this tasters never swallow. That's right. why my cousin went out of the business. That's right. Oh. <laughs> At the end, she was going, this is fabulous. <laughs> what? Otherwise, when, you'd never make it. How many of you in the audience, seriously, I'm just curious, know when you drink wine, and really be honest, that you really know what you're drinking? That you really can say, this is a great wine, or do you... Hands up for those that really think you know what you're talking about. Yeah. It takes See, a little See, now that's experience. very cheerful. Okay, because yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'll sit at a dinner table and I say, this wine is fabulous. I'll go fabulous. And someone else will go, oh, send it back. I go, exactly. I was going to say the same thing. Send it back. <laughs> I like to start with bottle shapes. And bottle shapes. And people seem to like wines in this shape. It's a burgundy shape. And generally, people like whites in this shape. This is the way fashions are White currently. Shape. And reds in this shape. This is a Bordeaux shape. Okay. And the more adventurous like whites in this shape and reds in that shape. But traditionally, so, this is the white, this, no, is, the this is Chardonnay grape, and right now everyone's in love with Chardonnay. So. Why? What makes Chardonnay good? It's Said Miss Rivers pouring just a touch. <laughs> in the speaker. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Chardonnay has very good fruit and uh, easy to drink. I don't know, you're making a face. I don't well, know. I don't like anything. Oh, that's, um, oh. yeah. Now she tells me. Right, this is easy. What do you mean by fruit? You can taste? What you can taste, taste fruit. You should taste something that reminds you of apples, kind of apple-y fruit. Sometimes you taste pears. There's lots of fruit flavors in wines. If you had to have three wines at home or four wines at home, what should a person keep at home that you know you're safe? I think they should have sparkling wine or champagne. This is real champagne, but there's lots of good sparkling wines around. Is sparkling wine cheaper than champagne? Yes. Yes. So if you serve but a sparkling wine... this is $28 wine, for real champagne, so that's not so bad. $28 for real champagne is, is a good price. Yes, I think that's a good price. Okay. And then there are California sparkling wines. Those are about $18, $20, so you've got, you've got a lot of range. Okay. Uh, this is a good uh, dry white wine, a Macon Village from Jetto. That's about $10 or $11. This is also about $10 or $11. This is a California Cabernet Sauvignon. Are and California wines now equally good to French? Yeah, they really so are. So they really come up this country. They definitely come up. I don't like to taste them side by side because I don't think that's fair. California wines represent California. French wines represent France. But What does that mean? It means you shouldn't do a blind tasting of so this So like one grape. is served by a woman that uses deodorant and one is served by a woman that doesn't? I mean, what means no. California French? This soil's different. you ever go to France? I mean, you, that's, you can't... It's that's just not wine. fair to say, yeah. well, I'm going to pit this wine against a French wine or against a California wine. That's okay. all. They're just their own thing. Now, having a glass of wine, did you read this in the paper? And you, I read in the New York Times, which never lies, never lies, that having a glass of wine every day is very healthy. It is. It is. Wine has no cholesterol. It has no salt. If you want fiber, you can put the corks in the cuisine art. So you can get, I'm only teasing. Oh, I, I, <laughs> thank you for saying that, because I was going to call back Mr. It actually Poole. does encourage <laughs> antioxidants. Better does a better job than vitamin E, and reduces the bad guys, the LDLs, encourages the good guys, the so, HDLs. Either right, red or white, one glass Red a, a little day. better than white. Red a little better than white. Right, because okay. there's more things in the skins. Last thing I want to ask you, okay, if I may. I open a glass of wine, and I'll have maybe three people for dinner, and we're not drinking, so we each have like a glass. There's wine left over. How can you, can you store wine, and how do you store champagne, or you can't? You can. You can. How? First of all, keep it cold so that it doesn't lose a lot of the gas. If you let it stand around, just like a glass of Coca-Cola, gas will come out, so right. keep it cold. And then they make these little stoppers that uh, you can push down, like soda bottle stoppers, only they fit champagne bottles. A white wine, you could just take the cork, put it back in, stick it in the fridge, nothing special. And, and and for red wine, you want to keep the air away, so this is a little gadget I'll show you in here in the white. Right. You put in a special neoprene stopper, yeah. and then it's like a little bicycle pump. Pump out the air, and that's it. Because red wine is not supposed to have air. Right. It's better if it doesn't. Well, I so thank you very much. That will keep you for about a week. For a week. Okay, yeah. so that's, that's yeah. terrific. Yeah, so I nothing goes to waste, and you can always cook with what's left over. Even though it's gone sour? It doesn't go sour. No. Red wine, what happens after a week? It may get a little oxidized, taste uh, not delicious the way it was, may taste a little like raisins, but it'll never go bad. So you can and you'll it. never get sick from it. Even bad wine? Even bad wine. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> when we come back, <laughs> we're going to come back with a revolutionary new way to improve your appearance. Watch this, especially if you have birthmarks or a scar or a mole or something you don't like in your face. It's going to be very interesting. Stay with us. To your health. Cheers. Thank you. Do you live?
live in fear of the unknown? Will you ever find the true love you've always wanted? Do you want a better life, but feel powerless to make changes? Then call the Live Psychic Line. The enlightenment you seek is just a phone call away. Call now. Psychic advisors are waiting to speak with you live and help you find the answers to a better life. Call toll-free 1-800-972-6655 for entertainment purposes only. Must be over 18. Watch how fast Dristan nasal spray works. What do you smell? I can't smell anything. My nasal passages feel blocked. There's pressure in the front of my face. Use Dristan 12-hour nasal spray. It works fast. Now smell. Oh, yeah. I can smell that. What is it? I can smell an orange. Dristan nasal spray works fast. Dristan nasal spray. Fast, effective relief. And to treat your cold and flu symptoms, there's a Dristan product that's right for you. Dristan. This may look like an ordinary compact disc, but actually, it's an interactive encyclopedia. A stimulating match with a tennis pro. An interactive adventure through fantastic worlds. A glimpse into the world of Vincent van Gogh, or even a feature-length Hollywood movie. This is CDI, Compact Disc Interactive. A new world standard in multimedia home entertainment from Philips Electronics. You might expect to pay over $1,000 for an entertainment system that does this much, but now you can own a Philips CDI player for only $499. You can choose from more than 100 interactive titles by world-renowned publishers. CDI titles start at just $15. During this special TV promotion, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia on disc, a $299 retail value, yours free during this limited time offer. Call the number on your screen now for a free brochure and for the location of your nearest CDI retailer. If you've been seriously injured in an accident, the law limits the time you have to take legal action. Now, if you delay, you could lose your right to receive payment for your injuries. Call the Injury Helpline. Talk to an attorney near you for free. There are no attorney fees unless you receive payment for your injuries. Time may be running out. The insurance companies have attorneys working hard on their side, and so should you. Now, before you sign something you don't understand, call the Injury Helpline. Call 1-800-252-1988. On the next Can We Shop starring Joan Rivers, Mum's the Word when Joan takes a look at parenting grown children. Put in a lot of effort with them, and by the time they're old enough to be good company, they leave home. They leave home. And check out the At Your Service tip for the day on how to shop with young children. Plus, monitoring your blood pressure is only an arm's length away. Lie down! <laughs> That's what if she did! Please lie down! <laughs> Everybody has something to hide. I'm not talking about your deep, dark sexual secrets. I am talking about something that we all can relate to. Something to hide in our appearance, whether it's a liver spot or a vein that's coming out, a little zits on your face. My next guest has helped develop a terrific product. It's called Dermablend. It's a beauty emergency kit. Will you please welcome Flory Roberts? So nice to have you on the show. Nice to be here. Now, Yes. Derma blend. Whoops. Derma blend covers bad scars as well as little bitsy things right. too. Derma blend will do with something as serious as a, b a birthmark and as minor as a little blemish. And how did you start? You came up with Derma blend because? Well, because it was my own personal experience. I've been in the cosmetic business for years, but about eight years ago, I got a little pimple on my nose. It wouldn't heal. I went to the doctor, and he said it is skin cancer. Right. So naturally, I panicked. But they said that they would have to do some pretty serious surgery, and I got cut from here all across here. Right. Had terrible scars and redness, and I went home to my husband, and I said, this is terrible. What can I do? He's a doctor. And Please. he asked for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, love me, love it, me, It'll love be me. fine and right to That's right. Go on. <laughs> he said, stop being crazy. We'll figure something. And all, all there was was theatrical makeup, thick, tasty, right, you looked right. unnatural. So then we decided, let's develop something. Let's develop something that would be waterproof, that would be easy to apply, you don't have to be a makeup right. artist, that would be smudge-proof, so if, you know, someone comes up against you, it doesn't rub yeah. off. Right. And it would be very, very 
uh, opaque, so nothing would come through. Right. Because, you know, wear glasses, and with my scars, every time I put glasses on, it, it would show. show. Right. So we worked for about a year, and then we developed Dermablend, and it comes in this little pot. Right. And, and this, this is, yeah. Go, so it's for black ladies, and it's for oriental ladies. It's for anybody, really. Yeah, but you also got to realize that, you know, if you have a mark on your face, that color may be different than the mark on your leg. Right. So, so having mix. four shades is great, because you can mix and match, get what you want. Now, show them before we even go any further, and then we'll get other things. Show them your two legs, because everybody has veins. My daughter, Melissa, thank God, has a friend, though, who's 22 years old that's got terrible veins already. Show them, and then the people have varicose veins. Right, right. Show them what you did to your legs. Well, let me get, yeah. let me see. Can you can see my, this is, so this is my Dermablend leg, and this is my regular leg. And as you can see, this is quite aging. By the way, I'm wearing hose. Yeah. So I want to show you, it doesn't rub off. Right. It really stays on, and this is going to last till I want to take it off. What about water? If you take a bath, will it come off? No, not if so. You if don't you take a bath with a lover, soap, no. <laughs> I told you it doesn't rub off. Yeah. it's smudge proof. Okay, so you can, and so you can. You, you can, can actually bathe with it. Right? Yes, yes, you can swim with it. You can actually swim with it. The thing to do is you're careful when you just, you know, you wipe but you pat it dry. Yeah. So anyway, the other thing that I think is so important, Joan, I have found, I traveled all over, that the most important thing women want to hide is dark circles under the yeah. eyes. And like you say, if you're 17 or you're 77, it's dark it's, circles it's matter. Because it's genetic. That's right. It's not That's nothing right. to do with age, by the way. Circles are genetic. Look at your mother. If you've got them, she's got them too, that bitch. So it's her fault. <laughs> and, oh, blame everything on your mother. You know <laughs> Or if you, you know, oh, stayed, up, right. stayed up too late, oh, stay up too late. <laughs> or you had a bad night, you know. Right. So I want, to, I want you to meet Charlie. Charlie okay. is a professional model, and she came to me and said, Dermablend saved my life, and I'd like you to take a look at Charlie. She's gorgeous, but she does have dark circles. Right. And I would like you, Charlie, please take a quick, thick stick, because for under the eyes, it's easier. We have a stick. Right. And you take that quick, thick stick, and she puts it on, and one, two, three, the dark circle is going to disappear. Now, the good part about this, is that it lasts all day How and do you it won't get it rub off? off. Well, in our little kit, we have a special cleanser that doesn't tick, you know, tug at your skin. Yeah. It works very easily to get it off. Age spots, which I haven't started with yet, thank God. Oh, you, your no, hands are gorgeous. I'm, well, well I'm gorgeous. Got, you know, I've got them all. i got the veins, yeah. i got the age spots. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take my um, cup of cream, and it looks a little thick, but it isn't. Right. And you use this, and I put it, and I nice, and I warm it up. Now watch. I dab pat. When you put on this makeup, you do it with a dab pat motion, and you blend out the edges, and you see right in front of your eye, they disappear. It's and you blend one. it, and uh, let me see if I can show the audience. You can see the difference in the two hands. It's and, well, what you know, that? you can have plastic surgery, Joan, but it's very hard to get rid of these spots. Yes. My dog, I have a new dog, Veronica, who uses me as a bone. <laughs> and they, they were very worried in the makeup room. They went to cover that she bit me. And uh, nibble, not bit me. I mean, you know, like she's frisky and she nipped me. How would we cover that? Well, let's use our quick fix stick because I think it's real easy to get that and on. And just gone. And then just blend it in. And that will stay now for the rest of the day. Yeah, what I'm going to do, though, we have in this kit, and I want to talk about our setting powder because that's real important, too, for this kind of cosmetic. Want to come off on the clothes? No, no. Yeah, this is the setting powder. Now, it looks white, but it's colorless. Absolutely is going to set this. God, I can't even see. Oh, here it there is. Okay. Set it. Even though it looks white, it isn't. We have a little brush. All comes in this one kit, right. which is great, so you don't have to search around. And you brush off the excess. And that hides And them. that will hide it. And, and that, that will stay on all... And not get yes. on my clothes. No, it won't get That's on great. your clothes. Now, well, oh, let's look at you. Let's look oh, at my. Now, Charlie, turn around, Charlie, so they can see in the camera, Charlie has covered one eye right. and uh, left the other eye. And, Charlie, tell me, does this work for you? It's the best. It is, I've looked, I've tried every product. This is the best. It stays on all day during a shoot, all day in the evening. It's look wonderful. The I mean, standing here, look at you. The difference is incredible. Amazing. Now, we have a man that we want to bring out, a surprise guest for you to see what you can do for him. Oh, really? And oh, by the way, I want to show you something. I'm yeah. screaming it's waterproof. Yeah. Waterproof, I want to show yeah. you. Okay. Let's bring this. Uh, yeah. Can we bring out? Can we bring out? I'm just going to yeah. show. While you're dipping. I'm dipping. Where are you? I'm dipping. And let me see. I'm dipping. Uh, take a look. While oh. you're dipping, look who While showed I'm up. I'm dipping. Oh, Gorby showed up. The guy has time now. How nice to see you. Very glad to see you. Very glad, glad, glad to see you. Now, very glad. here is a man with a very bad... Put your head down. Uh, that has come to this. This man is on daytime television from mm. ruling Russia. 
tragic. <laughs> okay. I want you to know, Joan, it was my greatest dream to get a cup of Gorbachev's birthmark. Okay. How, how would you do something that, that intense? Well, let's see. We're going to see if we can get okay. a color for him. It and was my was dream, to... too, to get rid of this one day. Uh, Raiza would even be happy at what happened. <laughs> While we good. start this, good. Deborah, will you tell us how we can order this? Oh, definitely. Ordering is easy. When you see something you want for the Dermablend Emergency Beauty Kit, it's item number P as in perfect skin, 105, a $56 value order today at only $27.50. And if you'd like the three-book set of Mr. Food's cookbook, that's item number G106, and we can have it, can we shop price today, at $23.76. And don't forget about Romance, the Love on the Air songbook is item number G105, $15.95 with the set, and $17.95 with the CD. Remember, it's a snap to order any Can We Shop product. Just phone the 1-800 number on the bottom of your screen, tell the operator if you'll be paying by personal check or credit card, and give the item number. Delivery should be about two weeks from the time you place your order. Thank you very much, Deborah, my darling. Now, Gorby, look at the difference. We did half of it, which is incredible. And, Gorby, while you're here... Why don't here. you tell us what's coming up next, Joe? No, Gorby, you tell us what's coming up From next. From my homeland, Russia! What are we going to have? What are we going to do? From my homeland. I can't wait. <laughs> no wonder he's no longer in office. We'll see you in a second. That's <laughs> fateful accident unites them. A reckless passion consumes them. I don't want to have these feelings. I want to get rid of them. And a dangerous fantasy threatens to destroy them. Is this idea of a game? Sally Kellerman, Stephen Lack, John Houston. Love can be a lethal weapon when you're held in the spell of a fatal attraction. Tonight at 11.30 on WGN Channel 9. What formula do doctors recommend to relieve external anal itch? The one in cortisone 10 or in regular preparation H? Eight out of 10 doctors recommend the anti-itch formula in cortisone 10. Cortisone 10, external anal itch relief. Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. You know, I've been suffering with back pain for years. Then I discovered Aspercream. I just rub in Aspercream for hours of relief right where I hurt. It relieves the pain fast and it's odor free. And Aspercream is aspirin free. Excuse me, but why aren't you flexing your teeth? Flexing? With Aquafresh Flex, the only toothbrush designed with a flexible neck. Flex helps you brush away plaque, yet it's still gentle to your gums. And four out of five dentists agree that brushing too hard can damage gum tissue. Look, Flex's shock-absorbing action is so gentle, it doesn't even damage the tender skin of this ripe tomato. Healthy teeth need healthy gums. So stop brushing and start flexing with the Aquafresh Flex. Do you want a whole world of entertainment right at your fingertips all day, every day? Then turn on the world-class excitement of cable TV. Call today for 24-hour news, sports, the latest music, hilarious comedy, and more. Act now and you'll get an explosive offer that brings you the planet and the stars. Tune in the excitement of Showtime with blockbuster movies, acclaimed originals, and big-time events. HBO really drives home the hits, box office favorites, and exclusive engagements. The Movie Channel has a movie anytime you want one, 24 hours a day. Cinemax has one great movie after another, over 170 a month. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME and you'll get installation for just $9.95, plus two premium channels free for one month. Don't miss out. Call now for this limited time offer and bring cable and premium TV right into your world. Okay, this is going to be very nice. Ancient people believed it protected them against witchcraft. Buddhists believe that when you reach paradise, your face will be made from it. Jewish people believe if you suck a piece, your daughter will marry a doctor. What is it? Amber! <laughs> I, my mother sucked Amber for years, nothing. <laughs> Anyhow, my next guest is just back from Russia, and he's brought with us three unique Russian Amber pins. Will you please welcome Father John Parrish. How nice to have you on. It's a pleasure to be here. And you are a real priest, a Russian Orthodox? A real Russian Orthodox priest. Uh, does that mean you can marry? Yes. 
So you're allowed to have families and everything else? Family, children. I have two daughters. Two daughters. That's yes. lovely. And it ha But you're also designing jewelry. I've designed jewelry, and I've been a collector of Russian pieces for many, many years. And the church doesn't mind you going off and doing these things? No, no, no they haven't so far. All right, which is... <laughs> Maybe that, today. How did you get... No, 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 not on this poor show. Tell me about Amber, because everybody... When I said this, the first two were not jokes, that the agent's bleed was so rare, and Buddhists actually believe your face will be made of it. What makes Amber such a, um, a religious symbol? Well, Amber is the uh, probably one of the most ancient organic uh, gemstones in the world. And it basically comes from only two main areas of the world, the Baltic Sea and the Dominican Republic area. But the thing is that makes it so ancient and, and so important in the ancient world was it was believed that it was the tears of the sun god in the ancient Greek mythology, and then eventually evolved into Jewish uh, re religious history and Judaic history and into Christian. And I know I was in Russia uh, recently, and we went into the new Fabergé store, which is pathetic. Yes, yes, in St. Petersburg. Yeah, pathetic, yeah, you know. it's just... And uh, the only nice thing they had were amber beads, which yes, I bought. Yes, fabulous, yeah. fabulous beads. Because Russians have always used amber, as well as most Baltic countries, for jewelry for years, from 500 years to 1,000 years. Now, how, what is amber? Is it, a, like, uh, is it made of pollen of some kind? No, no, or it's fossilized or... resin, fossilized tree resin, that is basically between 28 and 50 million years old. That's, uh, and it comes in what? Comes in little tiny pieces, little flecks, little uh, or large clumps. Now, can you go back to Russia now and get more? Is it getting easier for you or harder for you? Because much happening? more difficult. Because right now the factories that this was produced in uh, basically have been taken over by German concerns. By German concerns. Well, now yeah, that they no. have Glasnost and Perestroika and open market system, things are changing so badly yeah. that that anything that is uh, profitable is being taken over by foreign concerns. Yeah. So you couldn't get your finger in there. Well, no, I have yeah. mine. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a whole hand. Uh, in there. Uh, thank God. Now, what did you, you brought, and you designed these, Yes. right? So now you brought three kinds of pins to show us today, which, and I, I put all three on my chest. My, <laughs> well, I have a small chest, so I could have put seven if I was smart, but uh, Dolly Parton could wear your whole collection. I know, even uh, necklaces. Yeah, Dolly sure hurt me some more, Father. <laughs> That's a, but we have, which, which show it, which one is this? Well, you have the uh, blackberry pin here. And that's this one here that also, That is right? this one there, yes. And that's, that moves, right? That's that very moves and they dangle. Yeah. And as you see, this is all hand-carved amber. It's from a large piece like this in order to get this size. And all, all the little berries, sort of the blackberries, are all hand-set so that they can actually move when they you're move, wearing it. They dangle. Very, very charming. And then this is next. That this is, is the grape pin which you're wearing on this side, I'm the right-hand side. I'm wearing my right breast. Right, the grapes. <laughs> Hi. That's a, okay, and again, that It's hidden sometimes, but it comes out. Yeah, that's a, and that again moves, which is moves very, very also, beautiful. Moves also hand-carved, and there's two colored different ambers there. There's 250 different colored ambers. So when you go to make something like this, you have to find... You have to find the pieces, you have to carve them, they have to be uh, set, uh, designed so that they would all mix together. Otherwise, it's going to be, as we say in Russian, uh, sort of uh, shaliakin, uh, mixed up. Shaliakin? Shaliakin. Mixed up. Mixed up, okay. <laughs> and the last, which I, I put on first. The last is a spider pin. Yeah. I thought we needed a bug because of the Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah which makes sense. <laughs> What's been your, your biggest item? That the you biggest say? item is the spider. The biggest item it's is the hottest spider. item uh, that we've shown uh, through the, throughout the, this past year. In fact, I'll be celebrating my first anniversary this year, this month, well, just the spider film. Who makes these? Do you have them made in Russia? Everything is made in Russia and, and literally carried over in chimadans, in suitcases. In suitcases. In suitcases, because it has to go through customs control in Russia, and it has to go in suitcases. They won't even pack them in boxes. Let me ask you, is there a lot of corruption in Russia when you go Unbelievable. through? Unbelievable. Yeah, do you have to like, pay under oh, the yeah. table? Oh, yeah. Bakshish. Everywhere is bakshish. Bakshish. bakshish means tipping system. Tipping system. You have a tipping system from the start to the end. Maybe 15 to 20 tips. So, uh, to get it out. Just to get it out of Russia. Well, I'm glad you got them out. They're fantastic. What a pleasure. Will you come back with other things? Oh, I have all kinds of lines of and things that are coming out of Russia. And amber means luck. Amber and means luck, good health. Good health. And most of all, uh, it's something to give to someone to wish them a good year, new year. And a Russian, Russian Christmas was just... Russian Christmas is on Friday. Was a, well, we're, we're taping ahead. Okay, Russian Christmas, Christmas was. Was just about a week ago. Yeah. And, uh, well, I wish you belated <laughs> Russian Sorry. Christmas. Thank you How very much. How do you say much. that in Russian? Christos Rajdaitsev. Pozdravim s Novim Godom. It's a lot to say. That's Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> By the time you say that, we're into Russian Easter. Would you also <laughs> no, say... No, it's late this year, Russian Easter. Uh, will you ask Deborah to tell the audience how to get your pins, but ask her in Russian. That's it. Sure. That's what I say. And it's
it's a pleasure to tell you about this collection. If you'd like to order the Russian Amber Collectible Great Pens, it's item number S as in sensational 107, and the price is only $47.95. The Russian Amber Collectible Spider Pen is item number S as in super 108, and the price is only $31. And if you'd like to order the Russian Amber Collectibles Blackberry Pen, it's item number S as in stupendous 109, and the price is only $56.95. And here's how easy it is to order. I love shopping with Joan because it's so easy. Get your credit card ready, your product number, and call this number on the screen. I love it. And coming up next, a luxurious way to rejuvenate your body while you're in the bathtub. Snow, eh? I bet I can make it snow. Have you had hot cocoa? Well, no wonder. Come on. Something magic always happens with carnation hot cocoa. Why aren't you flexing your teeth? Flexing? With Aquafresh Flex, the only toothbrush designed with a flexible neck. Flex helps you brush away plaque, yet it's still gentle to your gums. Look, it doesn't even damage this tomato. So stop brushing and start flexing. Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. You know, I've been suffering with back pain for years. Then I discovered Asper Cream. I just rub in Asper Cream for hours of relief, right where I hurt. It relieves the pain fast, and it's odor-free. And Asper Cream is aspirin-free. How much of your life has been stolen by that voice that nags, worries, obsesses about your weight? I'm starting a diet tomorrow. That voice in your head that's so hard on your body. I'm huge. And you? I have no willpower. But what would you do if you could have that time back? Imagine instead a voice that speaks your dreams and a body that lives them. The new Jenny Craig. Call 1-800-92-JENNY. I don't think I'm a very good human being. Because I'm fat and I can't control my food. One and a half years later. I love myself today and I respect myself. I have self-esteem. I care about what happens to me today. And I want good things for me. The Raider Institute. 1-800-255-1818. Now there is an in-home phonics reading program for children and adults that was created by dedicated teachers. It's called You Can Read. Other phonics reading programs use audio cassettes, but You Can Read teaches with video cassettes to utilize sight and sound, color and motion, and allows the learner to work with or without assistance. For more information about You Can Read, call 1-800-531-READ. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee that You Can Read. Call 1-800-531-READ. By the way, before we even continue, I want to thank Ron Smith's lookalikes for Gorbachev. Now, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do this. There are some pleasures in life that you just can't buy. Huh, sweetheart? But <laughs> fortunately, <laughs> this is one of them. I am not talking about the man in the tub. I am talking about the bath gel that I am putting on his back. It's stuff that I use. I know. It doesn't smell great. Mm -hmm. And here to tell me more about this fabulous gel is one of my closest, and you know how many I have, one of my closest royal friends next to Princess Di, that bitch who was in New York and never called. Please welcome <laughs> Prince Scipione Borghese, or as we like to call him around here, Skip. How nice to have you here. Thank you, John. Thank you. Because nobody believes it when I say that I am with the royals. Tell them that you're really royal, that you're really a prince. Yes, I really am a prince. Okay. Joe, now you're with royals. Okay, thank you very much. And have you ever met Princess Diana? No, she's actually on the English side. We're Italian, so we try to stay away from that border. So you, you, would you, you're single, right? Because I know your mom. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes. All right. Would you, could, if you married her. Uh -huh. Married my mother? Well, <laughs> I've heard that was royalty, yeah. but uh, <laughs> if you marry 
Princess Diana, would that put you in good or in bad with the rest of the world? No, pretty good. We have a nice consolidation of powers. Now, why are you in, and you've been in the Borghese, you've been in cosmetics and, and bath products for years. How did that start? I don't understand why. Was the castle dirty? The castle, was, <laughs> the castle was extremely dirty, and we couldn't find anything to clean it, so we started with some honey, which was just laying around the grounds. Uh, actually, what really happened is that um, the royal family in Italy had a, a gorgeous hunting castle, and we decided to purchase that because they had 150 acres of botanicals there. Right. And we could keep all of the botanicals under complete uh, restrictions from any sort of pesticide or insecticides and we could you know have our bees pollinate off of flowers that we knew were nice and clean so you, you could say you made so you bought it for the bees that's correct we bought it for the bees and all of your products explain what your products are and why it's good besides does it, does it smell good it wait wait good. don't answer <laughs> now, it very good yeah, I could kill you now by dropping this in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> your feet are in here, too. I, my feet are killing you. Thank no, you. your feet are that, in here, too. I know. This is where we <laughs> both right. would go. Okay. Now, tell me about this. It's all honey product. That's right. Honey, you know, I'm not sure if you do know, but it's no. been a, a regenerator or helps to regenerate the skin. It's been used in the embalming process back in the uh, Egyptian days. Right. And actually, you could keep a jar of honey somewhere for a thousand years and still uh, eat it after, after you come back, if you come back by yourself. That's, uh, a, that's a, <laughs> a tough thing to do, a thousand years. But uh, it does help to uh, regenerate the skin. It's got right. pollen and beeswax. And pollen acts almost as an extra layer of skin. It has uh, the same sort of um, structure as the sebum of right. the skin. So it goes in and acts as an extra protective layer of the skin. So you sell now what you sell, which I use the bath gel. Mm -hmm. Then you sell the cream, the after bath moisturizer. Right. This is a body cream with uh, many different vitamins uh, and oils. And you would put this on either in the shower or in the bath, just like you're doing. Right. So Joan, you can go to everybody's home and, and rub this on them. their back. That's yeah. right. That's right. They buy 12 of these. I come in and wash them. That's right. <laughs> Well, this helps exfoliate, too, naturally with right. the honey. So uh, you're actually treating your skin as you're taking a shower or bath. Now, someone told me that, they, that you told them in the winter it's not good to bathe every day. Not every day. I would say probably twice a week. You don't want to catch too many colds, and you want to try to stay nice and dry. As a matter of fact, if you bathe too much, you actually uh, take um, one layer of protective whatever you might... It's dirt, really, but right. actually it helps you protect yourself from um, the environment and from getting a cold and all that other kind so of stuff. So people should not bathe more than two or three times a week in the winter? You can shower, which only lasts about five or six minutes right. normally, but, but I wouldn't spend uh, 30 minutes, which is normally what you'd spend in the bathtub uh, during the winter time. The other thing someone told me you said is, which I never knew I found fascinating, because I used to come out and dry myself off, don't you all do that, and then put your cream on. And you said, no, put the cream on. While there's, the two, there's two ways of doing it. One is if you use the cream bath and then you come out, you can put a, a body lotion, which we don't have on the show right now, right. which is a lot thinner than the body cream. Then you can sort of dry yourself. And then you put the body cream on, and that'll preserve the layers of protection you've originally put on. I think it's great. As I said, I use it. And let's... Let's throw this to Deborah, and Deborah, will you tell us how to get this? And meanwhile, you want to wash your front because I'm almost you know. definitely Joan, because we've obviously got some great items today. Now, here's what you do. If you'd like to get into delicious hot water and order the Perrier Honey Bath and Shower Kit, it's item number P106, and the price is only $38.95. From the Russian Amber Collectibles Collection, the Russian Amber Collectibles Blackberry Pen, item number F109, priced at only $56.95. The Russian Amber Collectibles Spider Pen, item number F108, priced at only $31. And the Russian Amber Collectibles Grape Pen, item number F107, is priced at only $47.95. The Dermablend Emergency Beauty Kit, item number P105, priced only at $27.50. The set of three Mr. Food cookbooks, item number G106, can be shop priced at only $23.76. And for all you romantics, the Love on the Air CD, item number G105, priced at $17.95, or the Love on the Air cassette, number G105, priced at $15.95. Remember, if for any reason whatsoever you are not completely satisfied with your purchase, simply return the merchandise within 30 days of the day you receive it, and we will immediately refund your money or cancel the charge to your credit card account. No questions asked. And back to you, Joe. Okay, I thank you very much. Thank you all for watching and for joining us today. I hope you don't catch colds, okay? But Wait, wait. Oh, I hope you don't catch cold. You're going to say something.
at you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Skip. It was a thank pleasure. You. The stuff was great. Hope we can all get together, have another great family shop day tomorrow. Thank you. on UAB, tonight at 7 on WGN Channel 9. This is the plaintiff, Lorraine Crystal, and her daughters, Jill and Lori. In two separate suits, she claims the defendant, her daughter's tutor, failed to give her the AKC papers for the male Shih Tzu puppy she bought from him, as well as for the year-old female Shih Tzu he gave her because it was too old to sell. She's suing for $2,000 for the male and $2,000 for the female. This is the defendant, Martin Turley, a teacher. He says he was helping his 80-year-old mother sell the puppies to supplement her meager income and never promised the plaintiff there would be papers since he only charged her $100 for the male and nothing for the female. He's accused of failing to provide puppy papers. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in a California municipal court. Both parties have agreed to dismiss their court cases and have their dispute settled here in our forum, the People's Court. 